everyone and welcome back. My name is Jeffy, and this is my best friend Android the Chihuahua. Today we're going to be doing one of my favorite candle projects. It is kind of a tie-dye but you could do it with really any colors and to start us off I have this glass that I found at the dollar store. The dollar store is a really good place to get glasses for candle making and the reason for that is you are not paying shipping and I have come to realize the most expensive part of getting good glassware for your candles is the shipping on it. Also, when things are getting shipped to you, you run the risk of things breaking. I once had a massive order of glasses break and it was really hard to get into the box. I cut myself. The company did end up sending new ones, but it was such a hassle. I really just prefer to get my glassware in person. So the dollar store is the number one place for that. So this particular glass is really cool. It's five-sided. So the first round of these that I did is like a test. I did one color on each side and they blended together okay, but it was a little bit too much. So today I think we're just gonna stick with the primary colors and hopefully they mix together and give us a really cool look. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do to prepare our glasses is remove the sticker off the bottom of these, which I already have done. And then we're gonna go ahead and insert a wick. In my last candle making video, the biggest question I had was what kind of wicks do I use? This is the Crackling Booster Wick from the Wooden Wick Company, and this one is three inches tall, and the width is half an inch. And then I also have wick clip. I also have wick clips for them, and these you can also get at the Wooden Wick Company. I really love the Crackling Wooden Wicks. They are my absolute favorite. I think that they add a lot of class to your candle. So these are a little wick clip and the wick, and I'm just going to kind of push it all right, then I have my handy dandy glue gun ready and I'm just going to go ahead and put a big dollop on the bottom of this and stick it right down in the middle of our glass. It is gonna hold about nine ounces and so if we do nine plus nine, that is 18. We're gonna wanna use about one ounce of fragrance oil because that's just over one pound. So for two of these, we're gonna end up using one ounce of fragrance oil and 17 ounces of wax. Together that will make us our 18 divided by two, nine each glass. So next I'm just gonna put this on the stove top to get all of our little wax chunks melted down. We have our wax completely melted down here. And then our scent of the day is gonna be this wonderful Persephone's Kiss from Nurture Soap. This is a little one ounce container. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this into our mixture. Next we're just gonna give this a really good stir and then pour into our containers. This is one of my favorite fragrance oils. So I'm just gonna be pouring this in almost all the way to fill it, but you're gonna wanna leave a little bit of space at the top, and that is gonna leave just a little bit of the wax in our little container, and we'll come back to that at the end of this. I can show you guys how bad the top looks if you don't put a top layer on. Both of our candles turned out pretty perfect. They're beautiful and white. So next we're going to need to poke some holes down the side wall and to do that I'm just going to be using this little wooden skewer and I'm just going to pick three different places to just poke all the way down and I want to try and get that as deep as I can and then I'll pull up then just twist the candle and pick two more places to do this. I have three different colors here picked out. One is a yellow, one is a red, and one is a blue. Two of them are from Candle Science. This one is Pro Candle Supply. I'm going to be using these to get a little bit of liquid dye down into these little holes that we just created. You have two options to do that. You can just drop with that eyedropper a little piece down in there and then use this to go at it. Uh, but that does sometimes give you a lot of color and I want these to be a little bit more subtle. So this time I'm just going to be using that eyedropper to get a little bit on this plate and then I'll just scoop some up on my stick and put it down in there. So that's the yellow. Now I'm just repeating that process with the red color and I've gotten myself a new stick, that way our colors aren't getting mixed together. I'm gonna be going extra light with this blue color because of all the colors I've ever used, this blue one travels the most and I can't figure out why, uh, but this one definitely, if you're using the same one I am, which is the blue liquid dye from Candle Science, use a light hand on this one. 
all right so our candles so far look like this they are pretty white and they have those three lines around the outside the top looks a little bit crazy but don't worry we will fix that at the end and also it's only going to get crazier if you could believe that and then the other thing i wanted to show you guys which is absolutely crazy to me is you know i mentioned that blue color really travels more than any other color i've ever seen well the blue on this particular candle was put back here on this side so the stick went down right there. And what's crazy is on the exact opposite side of the candle, you can see the two blue sides coming together because once I heated the wax, the blue just started expanding outwards and it really pushed past all the other colors and almost touched itself again on the other side. So that's definitely why we went light on our blue color so we don't end up getting that. And this was also using the method of dropping a piece down in there and I think that was giving a little bit too much color for this technique. The next tool that you're going to need for this project is a heat gun and we're going to be using this on the lowest setting. So we're just going to be heating these lines until we see the color start moving. You don't want to wait too long because that glass is going to get really hot and it's going to keep melting your wax long after you turn off your little heat gun. So to get the best swirl, you're going to want to let it go just until it starts to get a little bit movie and then stop and move on to your next color. that red to show you what I mean about it continually moving that is it starting to go already and if that stuff doesn't move as much as you want you can always hit it again with the heat gun in a couple minutes and I'm really impressed with the colors we're getting on this guy in the back everything here is looking so good everything's moving great might need to hit that blue a little more might have been overly cautious with that one This is just to show you guys how much it can melt from the heat on the side of that glass. I would say it's melted in almost an entire centimeter on the side of the yellow. Overall, we have a really beautiful swirl going on on both of our candles. Next, I'm gonna be going in with a paper towel and just kind of cleaning up that top lip. You can see that there's just a little bit of dye and candle wax, and I'm just gonna be wiping that off with a regular paper towel. Before we go on to our last step, I just wanted to show you guys really quickly the difference between putting one drop down each side, and this is actually five drops in total. That candle had five different spots where I put color in. Uh, so that's how dark it is if you decide to use an entire drop for each of your holes. And then this more pastel version is the kind you'll get if you use the method dropping on a plate and then just picking up a little bit on your stick. I personally wanted to do more of what we ended up with here for this one because the last time I just got a little overwhelmed with color, but I do have to say this bright, bright color is really cool. So whatever technique you decide to go with, you are going to end up with some really stunning candles. All right, so for our last step, I'm just gonna be reheating that little bit of white soy wax that we have left over in our container. And then I'll be topping these little guys off our candles are completely dry now. I really love that nice white top. It really complements the color swirls really well. The last thing we're going to be doing to this candle is adding a little bit of stickerage. I made this label at home on my computer using the Avery system. Avery is this label company that has software you can use online to design your own labels. The software is completely free. You can find their labels in a bunch of different places like Amazon and Office Max. For this particular project, I'm using these 2x3 labels. These candles are looking amazing. I really love those little Chihuahua stickers. Our final touch is going to be adding some of these warning labels to the bottom of our glasses. So these are our final candles. I'm really impressed with all the swirls that we have. Everything looks absolutely stunning. I love the little Chihuahua on the front and I love that little hand poured with love. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing for more fun videos just like this. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!